Hey there, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to integrate Peak Distinction into your website. So the first thing to do is log into your Peak Distinction, and down this side here where it says My System Setup, head to the Add to My Website button. Click that. It will take you through to this page, and all you need to do is follow these step-by-step -step instructions. First of all, the introduction explains what you need to do. And then you can click the embed code button here or click the embed code button here. That will take you through to the next page and this is where all the important stuff happens. So for most website builders, you're going to need this script code here. So what you do is copy that, take the whole thing and add it to your clipboard. Then head over to your website builder. So in this example, we're going to use Wix because it's super quick and easy. If you want to know how to do it for other websites and other web builders, then check out the PT Ninja blog. I'm going to try and include as many videos as possible for integrations with different builders that are out there. If I'm missing one, please do let us know. So to add it into Wix or most builders, look for the add button and you're going to try and find an option that says HTML or code. Now in Wix it's under more and up here it says HTML or iframe. You'll probably have a symbol that looks very similar to this. Click on that and it'll give you a box. You want to make this box as big as possible, so it wants to be nice and wide, so it wants to be the full length of your visible screen, and you want it to come down quite a long way to start off with. Then click the option that allows you to enter the code, and you're going to paste that code into the box and hit apply. Once you've done that, you'll see the login will appear, and then just adjust the size of the iframe to make sure you can see everything clearly. If you scroll down, you should be able to see online personal training software at the bottom. If you can get down to that area, then you know you've got it big enough. Once you've done that, hit the Save button and publish your site. Now, when you publish your site, it will give you a URL that looks very similar to this. You want to take that URL, head back over to your Peter Distinction, and in the box here, you want to paste in that URL and then hit Save. That's there so that when people sign up using the preloaded client accounts on your website, we know where to direct them. Now, we've talked about how to add in this code here. Some people who use maybe developers or have certain builder software need two bits of code. They'll be asking for things such as JS or JavaScript and for HTML code. If that's the case with you, if your developer's asking for that or you need that, in order to actually set up your login, you can access those two bits of code separately by clicking here. And you can see the top code up here, which is the HTML iframe, and the bottom code down here, which is the JavaScript. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, then don't worry about this. Go for the top one up here, and the chance will be your developer that is asking for this. Now, if you use WordPress, things can be a little bit different. If you have a builder, in your WordPress setup, then you're probably going to be okay just to use this top code here. If you don't, for example, and you just have a standard WordPress one, you're going to have to do a little bit of stuff in the background. Now, this can be quite complicated, so the best thing to do is to email support at ptdistinction.com and they can walk you through exactly what you need to do in order to get that set up. Once you've got all that done, you want to click the next button down here, click custom colors, or select option three up here. When you do that, you can now select your colors so it matches your brand. If I go back onto my builder site here, you'll see my brand is pretty much a yellow color. So that's what I've got set up here. And also I can choose a darker color as well. You can use color codes if you have them for your brand. Once you've done that, we now have the option for the sign up page. Now this sign up page is for your voucher code preloaded client account setup. If you don't use that, then don't worry about it. Use the preloaded client account settings. If you do use this, you set it up exactly the same way as you do for your main website integration. You copy this code here, and then you paste it into your website using the HTML settings. Then publish that, and then down here where it says link your form to your website, you put in the URL from that published page and hit save. Super simple. Next one, advanced settings. On here, this gives you the option to include links to the apps in the footer. So when you add in your code to your website, you could just have the login page, or if you tick this box here, at the bottom it will give you two links going through to your apps uh, in the app stores. 
So once you've ticked that, click Save Changes, that will all be updated. If you don't want those to show up, or you just want people to log in uh, via your website and not use the apps, untick that box and then hit Save Changes. And that is it. Once you've done to check it all works, just hit the View Website button. It should take you straight through to it. And there you go. You can see it's all integrated correctly uh, and ready to go.